Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my Madden and NFL Connected franchise with the Denver Broncos. This is episode 15 and uh, we are in week 16 right now, two weeks left in the season. Um, and we are uh, primed to play against the Washington Redskins. They're 18, oh, 18 6. They're 8 and 6. And we're still trying to battle for that um, top position in the AFC. Um, we're still uh, technically. A, I guess half game behind uh, the Patriots because we do have that tie and they have that uh, third loss. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to win here. Um, but before I start this game, I just want to thank you all for supporting my channel, The Chase, for 1,000 subscribers uh, to remain a YouTube partner. It's still intact or ahead of schedule. As of right now, it is February 1st. And I have 984 subscribers, so I need 16 more of you guys to subscribe. And if you, like, if you actually like what you see, please click that like button or the thumbs up below. Um, we're trying to get at least one to three likes for this video. And leave me comments below. Let me know how I can put the videos or you know what else you want to see. And finally, I'm going to start this game. Um, I'm just happy to announce that Von Miller and Zach Kerr is back on my defense. I am so excited. And... We are slowly working away to be uh, healthier um, before we get the game started. Let's take a look at the injury report. We still got four players to go though, but um, everyone should be back by playoffs and hopefully no one else gets injured. Um, so yeah, let's, I'll see you guys in Washington. We take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive. Either way, they would take they that would kind of take. production. Here's Simeon now on second down. And this one complete to Virgil Green. Good catch with Virgil Green. That's a first down. Good start to the offense. Far. It's going to take your time. I'm not going to try to go for that home run that we usually do. Good catch with Virgil Green. And he's going. He's a little slow, though, but. And that's a big play by Virgil Green for the first. 30 yards after the catch. Good start to the game so far. Ooh. And it's going to be a touchdown. And a screenplay turned into a touchdown by Jamal Charles. Good blocking. Good blocking by the team. Look at that. Good blocking when the inside and out. Good blocking. Right into the end zone. After the run on second down. Come on, let's get to him. Come on, Vaughn. Let's go. Cousins from the gun on third. Oh, here comes Vaughn. And there's a sack this time by Shaquille Barrett. This is fir first sack of the game. I bet you he felt the presence of Vaughn Miller coming and did not see Shaquille Barrett coming. You see uh, Vaughn Miller in the bottom part of his screen. And Shaquille Barrett is going through to the top and then boom let's go defense is crazy right now Ooh, he's gonna be a big return who got him oh he could go all the oh my gosh if he didn't go in so close good return by Emmanuel Sanders after the big return, we kind of just blew it. But we do have this field goal going for us, and it's good. Ooh, Demarius Thomas with the catch. Damn, he just got chipped it up in the leg. He would have been gone for the touchdown. The block to the outside. And there you go for the touchdown. It is now 16-0. Good blocking by the fullback and Virgil Green. Boom. Just went to the outside. Missed the tackle. <laughs> Took that dive in. That guided him to that spot. Yeah, they get all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. It's going to be a field goal late in the second quarter, right before we go to half. And he hits it, so it's going to be 17 to 3. An update from that game. On the counter, it's Charles. 
Oh, big run. Big run. Come on, come on. Last play, last play. Could this be caught? And it's a touchdown! Last second play to Virgil Green as we made the hurry up offense actually work. Trevor Simeon on fire right now. Give me that. Ah, uh, and that is a user pick by Aqib Talib. Hashtag Keep Talib. Big catch by Emmanuel Sanders for the first. And that is a catch for the touchdown by Demarius Thomas. Being the aggressor towards the ball, caught the ball while diving in the end zone. It is a blowout. Let's take a look at a replay here. So I'm in the end zone and right there. The Redskins on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and eight. Now Cousins. Ooh, that's another pick. This time is a pick by Chris Harris Jr. At the 26 yard line. Can't throw it either side because one's a keep to leave and one's Chris Harris Jr., baby. This defense is amazing this game. Willing to give him that underneath well, stuff, right? I want the sack with Von Miller. I want the sack. Oof. No matter, that is Brandon Marshall with another tackle for a loss. All right, so he fought them off. Are they going to go for his long field goal? I don't know if they can make this. And snap it already. And it's... And it's no good, it's short. We get the ball back with under five minutes left. As we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Go for a touchdown. And it is another touchdown for CJ Anderson. And the conti this is just ugly. It's going to be 38-3. Another touchdown for the Broncos. It's been a clean sweep in this. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Oh, it's a fumble. We got the ball back. And we got the ball back. What luck does Washington have at this point? Okay, so that is the ball game. This is the biggest blow we had all season. 38-3 to to the Redskins. I did not see this coming. The defense was on point. The offense was on point. I made smart passes, made smart decisions while running. Why does Kirk Cousins look like he's like he just won? But we played fantastic. From start to finish, we made a few mistakes here and there, but we just put them to sleep early in the game. Uh, so let's take a look at the team offense, uh, team stats here. We got 351 yards, 142 rushing. The combo between Jamal Charles and CJ Anderson, I loved it. I loved it from start to finish. If CJ was uh, injured or you know had to take a break from the uh, the play, we got Jamal in it, Jamal Charles filling in really well. Uh, 209 passing yards from Trevor Simeon. Receiving definitely helped. Uh, 14. First downs, ba, 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 433 total yards. This is just amazing. Amazing by the Broncos right now. They had three takeaways, I believe. Three takeaways, two interceptions, and one fumble. Um, it's great defense. It's great defense. Um, let's take a look at the stats for the Broncos here. Uh, Trevor Simeon, 149.4 QB rating. I think that's the heights I've had with him all year. Uh, three touchdowns, going 15 of 20, 217 yards. Rushing, like I said, it was just 
a two-headed monster here. C.J. Anderson, Jamal Charles, 78 yards for C.J., 58 for Jamal, and then receiving, it was just a balanced thing. It was Demarius Thomas with 100 yards receiving through six catches, Virgil Green with 66, Emmanuel Sanders for 29. It was just a really well-played game by the Broncos. Um, now let's take a look at the defense. Um, tackles for loss. We had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tackles for losses. That's the superior defense. Look at Brandon Marshall, man. What a beast game. Um, and then we have Shaquille Barrett with that one sack. Chris Harris and Aqib Tlaib with the interception each. And with the fumble recovery by Aqib Tlaib at the end of the game, it was just awesome. Awesome display. And let's just fast forward into next week so we get a player, some more players back. And let's see if the Patriots actually lost. And maybe we can, uh, you know, take a breather for the last game of the season. All right, so here we are, week 17 now. Um, returning from injury is... Uh, we got Garrett Bowles coming back. Definitely a big thing for us. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we're back, a left tackle. Um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out how I can make this a little better for us. Let's see, let's see. Put Schofield up there. Okay, so this looks pretty freaking good right now. Trevor Simeon with a plus two because of his performance last week. I'm enjoying it. And defense. Uh, okay. Everything looks dandy. And let's take a look at the injury report but before we uh, finish things off here. And... Okay, so we only have these three injuries left. It's going to be Damata Pecco, Jared Crick, and Shane Ray. Can't wait until we are all at 100%. And then let's take, a look, let's take a look at this. Let's see if we actually clinch the home field advantage now. And we still didn't. We still did not. Um, it looks like the Texans Texan secured their spot in the AFC South. We still need to get, I guess, this one last win so we can secure it. Um, you know, hopefully the Patriots lose or we just win. We just, we just got to win this game. And, uh, yeah, so next week we're going to be facing the 6-9 and nine Chiefs in Mile High Stadium. Uh, going for that 13th win. Um, uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Madden NFL Connected Franchise, the Denver Broncos. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And click that like button. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. I shall see you later. Take it easy.